Number nine, write the ionic equation for the dissolution and the KSB expression for each of the following slightly soluble ionic compounds. And then we have silver one sulfate, which is Ag2SO4. Okay, so we have to write a dissolution equation, which means that this compound is going to dissolve into its ions, hence an ionic equation. Um, so yeah, I mean, let's, let's just go for it, right? So we have Ag2SO4, and they did say that these compounds are slightly soluble. Slightly soluble means that at equilibrium, so I have to draw that double arrow, at equilibrium, you're going to have majoritively the compound that you started with, and that's the solid. So these are going to be starting off as solids. Now we just have to figure out, well, what is the two components? Remember, any ionic equation has a positive charge and a negative charge. So what are the two components in AgSO4? Where's the break? Well, I noticed that SO4, we've seen that time and time again, right? That's sulfate. So the break has to be between the silver, the Ag, and the SO4. So I have Ag plus SO4. But now we need the charges, right? If we're going to break this down into its ions, all ions need charges. That's when we go back to the beginning of chemistry and we figure out what the charges were. We use the crisscross method, right? The crisscross. <laughs> the crisscross method. So I have two silvers, and remember, this four is part of the polyatomic, so I really have only one sulfate. This two crisscrosses up, telling me that the sulfate was a negative two, and this one crisscrosses up, telling me that the silver was a plus one. This should all be like a review. So Ag is the plus one. You could put plus or plus one, doesn't really matter. And then the sulfate is the negative two. We have charges now, so we know that this is going to be aqueous. And now we just have to make sure that we have a balanced equation. But there was two silvers, so I have to put a two in front of the Ag. But for the sulfate, there was only one sulfate, so one sulfate, so we're done. The first part of the question is done. Now from this equation, I could find that KSP expression. Now KSP is any other K expression, KC, KA, KB, we've seen all of those already. And it's basically products divided by reactants, but these are solids. Remember, no solids or liquids allowed. So it's just easier to memorize that the KSP expression is always going to be this right here. It's always just going to be equal to just the products because the reactants are the solids. No solids allowed. So, let's go for it. KSP equals, I got the two products. So, Ag plus, remember they're being multiplied in a KS, KSP or KAKB expression. SO4, negative two. But now we just have to pay attention. With these, we're just like all the other ones, you know, we have to raise them to its coefficients, but these, you're going to see some coefficients. When we did the acid-base chapter, everything was a one-to-one, -one. so that's why we kind of like, eh, whatever. But <laughs> for KSP, you have to pay attention to those coefficients. There was two AGs, so I have to come over to the two, or actually, sorry, I have to come over to the AG and say, okay, this is going to be raised to the second. There was only one sulfate, so I can say that I can raise it to the first, but anything raised to the first is itself. And let me just space this out. And now, that is your final KSP expression. And there you go. So, I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, a little bit of review, and then just putting the K expression together. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's keep learning. Chem is fun. I might be the only one that thinks that, but nah. At least there's one. At least there's one person. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.